An important foundation for developing materials is collaboration among teachers. But how do you do that? In fact, technology users need to be teacher educators to develop a network of collaboration. I asked Professor Kessler if he has any tips for teacher education. One of the tips that I have for teaching teachers to use technology for English language learning is to first begin by having teachers use technologies that they are already familiar with in some new way. Um, I think that this allows teachers to, to reflect on their use and reflect on how they can adapt a variety of other technologies and adopt them for their, for their teaching. Um, typically, these kinds of technologies are much more interesting and useful for language teaching than a lot of tools that are specifically designed for language teaching. So um, I really like to get started that way. Um, and it's important when you're doing this to have them think about a specific learning context, a level, and a specific group of students. So they're organizing some sort of activity or task or lesson around a very specific context. Being able to demonstrate the, um, these kind of lessons in front of other teachers can also help to raise the level of expectations and help to create a kind of fun, collaborative, and competitive environment. Once you get teachers doing this in front of each other, in front of each other, they get so involved in the experience that they often take these projects on and expand them for their real life classrooms after the activity is done. It's a great source of feedback and other suggestions since the audience of fellow teachers will always have many relevant and peripheral things for to talk about and consider. So what if you just changed something a little bit and did something else in advance or followed up with this activity or you did something um, just in a slightly different way? It's also great to have teachers engage in this process as students so they can pretend to take on that role and both try the materials and the activities out from that perspective, which often helps them consider options that might not otherwise come up. It can also reveal shortcomings in the design of the activity or the materials. And I think um, it's, it's a really great way to have, have other teachers give teachers feedback as they're thinking through new activity, materials, design, and implementation. Ideally, this really works best when teachers work together in groups to create these lessons since I think they help each other along and in the process we come up with suggestions that none of us would consider when we're working completely alone. Professor Kessler has some great tips for teacher education. He suggests that when you're trying to teach teachers how to use technology for language teaching that you start with the familiar and you expand from there. Have teachers work with materials and technologies that they're already using in their everyday life. Then have teachers work together to contribute to new activities. Also, it's important, he says, to have teachers play the role of students to use each other's materials. All of these tips involves teachers doing things. Teachers doing the learning the building of materials, and the collaborating. So there's a lot more to it than teaching and listening. Teachers actually have to participate. We always have to ask, what's next in working with technology for English language learning? In fact, teacher education typically tries to prepare teachers for what's coming in the future. But what do future technologies hold for supporting English language learning? I asked Professor Kessler to give us some ideas of what to expect. 